Day. Today is the big day. The moon will cross over the sun today. It's being named the Great American Eclipse. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, April the 8th. I'm Rennie Nutt. And I'm Michelle Lee. Of course, we've got our whole team covering the rare event today so you can have the best shot of seeing it and also seeing it safely. Mm -hmm. Very important. Anthony Slaughter and Paul Cook are here with a look at the eclipse forecast and, of course, the best routes to reach the path of totality. Our Holden Kowicki and Megan Kernan are in the path of totality on both sides of the river. And Cindy Stallworth is at the St. Louis Science Center. But let's first go over to our Anthony Slaughter with what we can expect today in the skies. Anthony. All right, well, here we are looking at the a total solar eclipse happening across southern Missouri and southern Illinois this morning. We'll have partiality in St. Louis, but regardless, we are watching cloud cover this morning, and that could affect your viewing. Let's get a little closer here, and you can see on the satellite radar view, it's these clouds that are starting to build in from southwestern Missouri. Now, keep in mind, we've been talking about this for the last few days. Now we have better details of what kind of clouds and this morning it's mostly cirrus clouds that are drifting on in. These are high clouds in the sky, usually uh, made up of ice crystals. You can see through them, but there are some issues with the cumulus clouds. Those you can't see through and right now about half of our sky could be covered in cumulus clouds. So we'll be watching that very closely and hopefully we'll keep our fingers crossed. You can see that where you are 78 degrees. That's where we're headed in St. Louis for today. We'll talk about the rest of the week's forecast coming up. Let's get over to Paul Cook and talk about some traffic this morning. Morning, Paul. Good morning, Anthony. Exciting day out there and well, a few same old world construction issues. Now you don't normally see a delay like this in Festus 67 at 55 and I think we just probably have a little bit more volume headed there where you do have some lane closures north and south on 55 at 67 where folks will decide to split off and go another direction as far as going south for the eclipse. These are all different directions as well, including 64 in Illinois. That's also something to remember, not just south, but of course southeast and uh, as you'd be approaching Nashville, you're going to be moving. We will keep a close eye on it. If something big pops up throughout the day, you're going to hear about it and I will let you know for sure on X at Paul Cook. We'll have another take of traffic coming soon, Rennie. Thank you, Paul. After months of preps in cities and in towns on both sides of the Mississippi River, the Great American Eclipse is finally upon us. Yeah, and Holden Kowicki is joining us live from Carbondale this morning where 50,000 visitors wow. are expected uh, to come throughout the day. So Holden, question, how are things looking out there so far? Well, Michelle Rennie, people are actually already starting to line up outside of SIU Stadium. And you know, Carbondale actually has the unique distinction of being in the path totality for the past two eclipses. And people who are flocking to this area and for a world class experience. And while they're here, they're also finding some world class food. In nearby Murfreesboro, Illinois, it's the home of 17th Street Barbecue, the three time world grand champions of barbecue, and the first grill masters to ever get a perfect score. In Memphis at May. Over the past few days, they've had customers from all around the country and as far away as Brazil, China, and Thailand. Some are even seeing totality for the second time in under a decade. All the colors kind of go away. Uh, the colors are very muted and everything gets quiet and colder. So it's a really cool experience. It's absolutely amazing though. You feel it. You feel part of the universe. You do. You just feel in tune with everything. If I could have barbecue and eat at the same time as totality, that, that would be the icing on the cake there. Though the crowds have been slow to arrive throughout the weekend, there are cars again starting to line up now and many restaurants last night had over an hour wait and many of the repeat eclipse travelers told me they're not even going to attempt to try and leave town tonight. They're waiting until Tuesday to try and head home to try and beat the traffic. Our Megan Kernan is continuing our coverage along the path of totality west of the Mississippi. Megan, how are people in Farmington planning to celebrate today? Hey, good morning, Holden. Well, people from across the U.S. and around the world are converging here in Farmington for the total eclipse later this afternoon. The town is going to be dark for about two and a half minutes. How incredible does that sound? And as you can imagine, these eclipse glasses and T-shirts have been selling like crazy. Now, it's a little early to be wearing these glasses, but 
thousands will be wearing the merch and gathering here at Angler Park for the Eclipse watch party. Now, the fun starts at 11 a.m. with food trucks, Kona ice, live music, and vendors. Schools have been canceled in Farmington, so families can enjoy the rare event. Now, we talked to Dina Ward at the Chamber of Commerce, who says all of the hotels in the area have been booked for weeks now. Plus, a ton of Airbnbs have been filling up with folks from as far as Germany and Peru. I know that there's people coming in from different states. There's a lady came in yesterday. She bought 10 t-shirts because she has company coming from Pennsylvania. And then we had someone else coming in from Michigan. We have people coming in from Peru. We have people coming in from Germany. So yeah, there's people coming in from all over the world to watch the eclipse here in Farmington. That's incredible, and it, it'll also be very safe here in Farmington with a large police presence in case anything goes wrong. Now, coming up in our next half hour, how much money the mayor of Farmington is hoping the eclipse will bring to this town. Live in Farmington, Megan Kernan, five on your side. Thank you, Megan. You could also get a clearer look at the skies today from Missouri and Illinois state parks along the path of totality. In Missouri, that's in places like Big Oak Tree State Park in East Perry, Current River State Park in Salem, and Sam A. Baker State Park in Patterson. In Illinois, Red Hill State Park in Lawrence County, Lincoln Trail State Park in Marshall, Beale Wood State Park in Mount Carmel, we have a complete list of parks in the bi-state that are in the path of totality right now on KCK.com. And you know, there are plenty of viewing parties in the metro too, including Collinsville. It's from noon to 3 p.m. at Herald Square near Old Herald Brewery and Distillery. You're going to be able to get some drinks and food at the event as well as see a fire performer doing some magic. Free certified Eclipse viewing glasses will also be handed out as well. The City Museum has an Eclipse watch party happening on the building's rooftop. It's included with admission. The glasses also are going to be given prior to the event as well, if you forget those. The Litchfield, Illinois area can go over and check out the Skyview Drive-In. It's hosting a viewing party. It's at the Route 66 Skyview Drive-In. There will be live music, comedians, a raffle, and more. The event starts at 11 o'clock this morning. This afternoon, join us right back here on 5 on Your Side and on 5 Plus for the Great American Eclipse Special, we will have live team coverage along the path of totality from 1 o'clock until 2.30. 5 Plus is free to download on your Roku, Apple, and Amazon Fire TV.